Hey, Kareem here. Wanted to talk about sincerity in Islamic psychology. The key ingredient to success with my clients is sincerity or ikhlas. Ikhlas means you have unmixed intentions. It's pure. It's clear. There's nothing else going on there other than one focus. And of course, in Islam, we are taught to have sincerity in the religion. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Have sincerity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the religion or through the religion. Now some of us are thinking, duh, but many of us actually struggle with using Islam not as an instrument to God, but as an ends to itself. In other words, if I follow Islam, then somehow Everything will be fine. I will have all this inner peace. I don't need to think any further or actually have an intimate type of relationship with God. Now this can get very dangerous because now you're using Islam for other than its purpose, which is to find Allah, connect with Allah, and know Allah. Some people use Islam for political agendas, for political reasons, uh, for cultural uh, co confirmations, and uh, other reasons, such as uh, making myself look marketable for marriage, or to look more religious or pious amongst my friends. So it's about the ego, it's about spiritual materialism. Now I want you to just picture this experiment. Imagine if I came and put my chin on your shoulder and stuck to you all day long, 24 hours. Man, probably within 15 minutes you're going to say, man, get off me, I can't take this, this is too close for comfort, right? Some of you might even elbow me to the face. Now, this is so close and so uncomfortable, yet I still don't know what you're thinking. I still don't know what's in your heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He created the human being and He knows what we whisper to ourselves and He is closer to us than our jugular vein. In other words, you are completely transparent, vulnerable, exposed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows all your alternative agendas, he knows your motives, he knows when you're really thinking something but you're planning to do something else, or the contrary. So if you're playing your parents and fooling your family, or you know doing tricks on your wife or husband, or you're given putting on a show at the masjid but when you go home it's a whole other story, all of that stuff is completely transparent and you can't get away with it before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So think about this. Every time you want to do something, or there is an important decision that you need to make, and of course, moment to moment, ideally we want to have this state or this uh, perspective, but just think about the big things first. Imagine you are going to meet Allah in one hour after that choice, and have to present your case or defend the reasons why you did that thing. Do you feel it's sound? And that is a way to help us cultivate uh, an internalized sincerity, inshallah, on a daily basis. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us, and I hope this was beneficial. If you like this video and would like to see more, please send some questions, feedback, and of course, please subscribe. Thank you.